because they directed the data which was submitted before this honorable court by two orders in the sealed envelope because the impression perhaps was that one of the copy the copy of that data is with commission but we assume not, that you would have retained the copy of what you had submitted in the court it was supposed to be in sealed cover taking the information from the political party so we just submitted as it is we got not so the entire data is with this honorable court so what we could do is we will ask our, we will ask our uh, office yes to scan and digitize the yes. data which has been submitted to us that it might just take a day or so i think right. because they'll start doing it immediately that can be postponed mothers they they're putting it up on the website then we'll say that uh, as soon as the, uh, the the data which is available with us is scanned and digitized uh, that will be handed over to the the originals will be returned to the election right. commission right. And, and then, then immediately, will, uh, immediately, immediately up. That's fair it. enough. That's no objection. Like Lordships indicated also on the last occasion. Now, just one thing: who is appearing for the State Bank of India? Because in our judgment, we had directed uh, disclosure specifically of all details of the That's bonds, right. including the purchaser, the amount, and the date of purchase. They have not disclosed the bond numbers because That's that correct. has to be disclosed by the uh, by the State Bank of India. Because if you if you see our if I if you see our judgment, Chief's judgment is quite clear on that. All details. So all details have to be furnished by the State Bank of India. I am for the government. And they had said in their own application. That they have the bond numbers, etc. But they said that they were in two different silos. That's right. The SBI so the application for extension was on the ground. SBI is not a party. They were here because they moved an application. Anyway, now anyway, if they disclose the bond number, we have no problem with that. Not just make sure that's to SBI, ma'am. Yes. Application. My lord, may I mention, my lord? Not just may issue notice to SBI, ma'am. No, 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 that no. Uh, no, an application. I'm requesting the honourable court. Uh, an application has been filed by the Election Commission of India, uh, seeking uh, further directions. Let's go. Uh, in the judgment, in the order of this court, dated what is eleventh of March, eleventh March, two thousand and twenty-four. Uh, this court had directed that the Election Commission of India, that ECI. Shall upload on its website uh, the data which was furnished to this court uh, and which was being maintained in the custody of this court. Let's stop. While issuing this direction, the court had presumed that a copy of the data which was lodged before this court, before the registry of this court, would be available with the ECI. So you would like to stop. Uh, Mr. Amit Sharma, the learned counsel, appearing on behalf of ECI states. That as a matter of fact, ECI did not retain any copy of the data which was uh, which which was collated by it, since it was being placed before this court in sealed custody. To stop. The request, therefore, of the ECI is that the uh, that the data which has been filed in this court may be returned to it, so as to enable it to comply with the order of this court for uploading the uh, all the documents. Full stop. This request of the ECI has not been opposed either by Mr. Atul Sipil or the Senior Counsel or Mr. Prashant Bhushan, the Counsel. Mr. Vijay Hansen, I will give you. Full stop. We accordingly issue the following directions: colon bracket one. The Registrar Judicial of this court shall uh, ensure uh, that uh, a scan that that the data which has been filed by ECI. In pursuance of the interim orders of this court, is uh, scanned and digitized. Full stop. Uh, upon the process being complete, this may be preferably carried out during the post. I think it may happen. It may be carried by uh, during the course of the day tomorrow by tomorrow by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, full stop. Once this exercise two, once the above exercise is completed. The original shall be returned to Mr. Amit Sharma, the counsel appearing on behalf of the ECI. Full stop. ECI shall uh, then upload the data on its website uh, within a period of uh, on or before day after that day. Day after. Not a copy of the digitized may also be given, Lord, so it will not will not take time in you. A copy of the yes, fair enough. Uh, a, a copy of the uh, scanned and digitized files 
shall also be made available to Mr. Amit Sharma so as to obviate uh, the obviate the replication of the process of scanning and digitization. So we'll uh, now we'll pass another order. We'll say, uh, would your lordships consider issuing notice to SBA? They may have yeah. something to say. Why do we have to? They should be here when the matter is going on. If no, not I'm here, sorry, Malad. Uh, please. Price? Uh, they filed an application which is disposed of. They are not parties. But really speaking, you know, we can take exception to what they have disclosed because they were bound, duty bound. I am not appearing for SBI. No, the way but, you, the court can me, pass an the, order. Not just me here. I am not here, Malot, for political correct. Okay. Yes. What is the operative direction in clause? My Lord, may I mention my Lord? Yes, it is. It says SBI shall. Uh, submit details of the electoral bonds purchased since the telemodel of the court dated 12 February till date to the ECI. Mm -hmm. The details shall include the date of the purchase of each electoral bond, the name of the purchaser of the bond, and the denomination of the electoral bond purchased. Shall include. It doesn't mean it will exclude. SBI. Your, your Lordship's what, order what is on? clear. What your Lordship's meant for Allow report. me, allow me, sir. Allow me. SBI shall it submit the details. Uh, of political parties which have received contributions to electoral bonds since the interim Not order of the court dated 12 April, reported to the date of the ECI. So, SBI must disclose details of each electoral bond, details encashed by political parties, which shall include the date of the encashment and the denomination of the bond. So, this is an inclusive order, it shall include all details. Lord, so would your lordships uh, see? BNC. BNC. And your lordship had your said lordship, that the reason P and C of your lordship's original. I am not appearing. I am I feel my lord SBA needs to be order of this court. Uh, the judgment of the Constitution bench required the SBI required SBI to furnish to the ECI uh, all details of the electoral bonds purchased and, as the case may be, purchased. Uh, or as the case may be, read, and as the case may be, redeemed by political parties, including uh, the date of purchase. What are the other? Uh, yes. Date of your purchase. Lordship's name of purchase. My satisfaction. Name of purchaser. Purchase which have received. Uh, sorry. And the denomination. And the denomination. Date of purchase. purchase name of the name of the purchaser. And, uh, and the date of uh, purchase. Stroke redemption. Uh, full stop. Uh, it has been pointed out. It has been submitted. That he said that that SBI has not disclosed has not disclosed the uh, the electoral bond the number electoral, number, the number electoral bond number. What is it called? Is it called the unique identification number, or is it called it's the called the alpha numeric alpha. unique alpha numeric number the on each bond? The alpha numeric number of the electoral bonds. Uh, full stop. Uh, the solicitor general uh, submits that uh, since he is not appearing for the SBI, come on, notice may be issued to uh, SBI. Full stop. We direct the registry to issue notice to SBI returnable on Monday. Yeah. We'll keep it on. Uh, we'll keep it on Monday. Very brief. Your plans. Good night. A copy. Uh, my Lord, may I mention, my Lord, Mr. Agarwal, just a moment. Don't need to read. A copy of the a, a copy of the uh, no, a copy of this order shall be served by the shall be forwarded by the registrar judicial uh, on the standing council appearing for the uh, for SBI. May I request one uh, one thing? Sanjay uh, to Kapoor. Yes. Mr. Or, or Mr. Kapoor. Uh, Sanjay Kapoor. Sanjay, Sanjay, Sanjay Kapoor. Sanjay Kapoor. May I request? Uh, your lordships are keeping this on Monday. We are guests among us. This mentioning can wait, my lord, uh, till Monday. I, I hope, my lord, I can convey myself. <laughs> <laughs> There we agree with us. <laughs> there is something to be said for what the solicitor said. <laughs> Look, uh, <laughs> Mr. Agarwal, would you like to mention this? Uh, on yeah, my Lord, I sent yesterday one request to Honorable uh, Lord Sir. For Sumoto. Credit us uh, with reading our files and correspondence both. Would you like to mention this on Monday, Mr. Agarwal? <laughs> But I would request that Lord Sip is not fully not aware. All of us will request it. Yes, we join. Lord, the, Lord Sip may permit me to file for application. No, 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 but I was not a party, my Lord. 
<laughs> Please respect the sentiments of your colleagues. <laughs> All of us are jointly requesting you to mention on Monday. Great, great, great. Obliged.